Very well, welcome to the finale of the Wonderful 101. Before we step forward and discover what the final boss is, what you want to do is you want to jump over this little line and dodge backward. If you f do that correctly, it actually spawns a little thing, which it's kind of hard to do because it's very, very limit on the limit. Because if you step even a pixel forward than what I did there, this path disappears. But you get a very, very mysterious box here, which contains a gift joke file. Yeah. It's very, very hard to find out. Also, because we leveled up all your wonderful ones to max level, I have another slot there. And, and the way I equipped that, uh, well, I didn't buy the thing. I wanted to equip one more thing on the sixth slot. Well, I guess we're not doing that. Whatever this is going with what I have, it's okay, really. So, let's find out what lies ahead. It's time for a proper introduction, Marvel Dwellers. I am Jerking Gun, Supreme Overlord of the Get Jerk Federation. No way! This is the biggest jerk out there? Stop right there! A machine? <laughs> no, not just the machine. You still don't understand, do you? You are inside of me. Jerkinga's the planetary fortress. Vorken. Sooner or later I knew you would turn against me, but I never thought you would surrender to an enemy practically begging for mercy. Where is your thirst for vengeance? How dare you? What are you? What gives you the right to threaten the peace of Earth? Or the entire galaxy? Us threaten galactic peace. <laughs> How amusing and ironic coming from you. Excuse me? What do you call blowing up planet after planet? The Geth Jerk Federation was founded with the goal of rooting out and destroying threats to galactic peace. Threats such as yourselves, Marvel Dwellers. Twice before you survived our attempts to annihilate you, and already you muster a force able to defend your world. It's plain to see you must be destroyed. Earth? A threat to galactic peace? Wait, you invade us, and we're the threat to galactic peace? If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. Blue is white. Besides, you are all using such big words. Simple is best, you know? Eh, who cares what he says? In any language, 
Earth. Nothing will survive. Least of all you. Our only purpose is to destroy you, Marble Dwellers. That's why we brought you here. And now our task is complete. Even in defeat, I shall be victorious. <laughs> Son of a jerk. But I know you Marble Dwellers are no fools. And I don't want to leave anything to chance. Why wait for the self-destruct when I can finish you myself? Here we are! It started! So our first objective of this multi-billion phase fight is to destroy the cores of the reactor. These tentacles are not really that much of a threat really to you. They're there for another purpose. Uh, of course? Oh, it does that. Cool. They're only here, well, mostly to be in the way sometimes, but usually they're not there for that reason. The reason why they're here to recharge your Unite Gods, because you're going to use a lot of Unite Gods, so if you use team attacks on them a little bit, you will recharge your Unite Gods, especially with the sword. The sword is very useful in this fight. So when you destroy one of the cores, you want to open this with the claws, draw a little fist, rotate it one block forward, and there's like nine or eight of these things to destroy, so... Yeah, that's, that was going to work for a little bit. And just use the fist, you go for a Cyclone, a Rising, and then a couple more hits and it's destroyed. And you're just gonna move on. If you're very fast, you can re-grab this gear before the panel closes and you can destroy another one. Saving you a little bit of time. But really, it's not a big of a deal to destroy these parts. This part is just a warm-up for what's up to come. Again, that's a, that, that can shoot me, but I guess I'm too far away here. Okay, so this one can be a problem. Let me see if I, I'm actually fast enough to rotate it. Cool. As you can see, my Unite Gods isn't really doing that well, but that can be fixed very easily by doing this. There we go, that's the C, my Unite Gods is coming back. Easy. That's what the tentacles are there for, really. Just smack them with the sword a little bit. Throw a few swords, you get back your Unite Gods if you happen to be running low. We'll be doing this for a bit, unfortunately. That's how the first phase is. And that's okay, though. It's not really that bad. And those tentacles can assume different forms. We saw... We saw the axe. We saw... Um, the machine gun. I shall take you out. So we saw the axe. We saw the machine gun. And there is Orochi's head. There is... Not entirely sure. There might be a chainsaw as well. Not sure, but they do respond from time to time. What is this? Okay, this is electrical, so again, the sword very useful. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Should get back my Unite Gods. Ah, not quite. Oh, you can also camp if you want to, if you have it. If you just make a camp, you can just recover all your Unite Gods. As long as any of those tentacles are around to mess up your camp, you'll be fine. Like right now, I could do that, but 
I can have your speed swords uh, equipped. It's not a big of a deal. While you're traveling around here, you will get back some of your night goods anyway. Alright, you're far away. I don't care about you. Well, you have a Rossi's head now. I don't know if you can be a problem, because Rossi's head can be either the goo or the flames. If it's the flames, it's okay. Look at this, the flames. I can just block you. I can just do this, throw a couple of swords on you. And as you can see, my United Gods is coming back. That's what they're there for, and this is electrical, so... You know what, since you're here, might as well take you out. Let's see, attack, attack, attack! Should be done in no time, there we go. Again, it's your call if you want to take them out. But, you know, they can be in the way. And now we have core number... I don't even know how many cores I've taken out already. I took out a few. So I assume this is like four or fifth. Oh no, that was it! Never mind. Now, there's a little second phase here. You want to use the sword to hit the brains. And you particularly want to use the sword because the brain can use a laser attack. Which the sword can redirect, of course. And of course, I gotta pay attention to my teammates, too. So let me draw a stupidly big sword. There we go. That's a holy 100 person. It's okay, though. It still deals a quite fair amount of damage. And because of the laser, this phase is already over. Wow. Just pay attention of the tentacles and you'll be fine. Just throw a Zord and go ham. Very, very easy part. the people of CHIQ. With your technical prowess, you will rise to become an unstoppable military power, a race of invaders and conquerors. Seriously? 
seriously? Humanity would never do such a thing. Can you speak for your descendants 1,500 years in the future? See for yourselves. Is that... Oh, no! It cannot be! A wonder mask? The diabolical weapon created by you marvel dwellers. The masked invaders came, and our worlds were destroyed. All at the hands of 100 demons. No way. We traveled back in time to eradicate your people, and so prevent the nightmare from ever beginning. That is the mission of the Geth Jerk Federation. Already we control the worlds that were to become the Greater Galactic Coalition. You Marvel Dwellers are all that remain. Now you will feel the hammer of our justice, and the galaxy will be free at last. You call that justice? What? Innocent people! Luca, wait! Get back, Luca! <laughs> if it weren't for you, boy, we'd never have gotten through that shield. You're a hero, the savior of the galaxy. A pity there will be no one left to tell your tale. Luca just saying, where's the justice in killing innocent people? He was about to do the same like three episodes ago or something. Oh well, Luca's gotta be Luca and he's gotta be a bitch. This is where the fight gets really interesting though. All you gotta do here is countering his different attacks with my Mikurian Eye Morphs and attack his fists. That will render his head vulnerable. At which point you can do some damage. Oh, he can faint that! Shit! Oh, I thought it did for some reason. Okay, cool. Let's go with the fist. Oh, I use. Oh well, I got the super gun. Let's go, let's go. It's fire, guys, fire. Okay, there, cool. That's gonna wait my next opportunity then. I don't know if we're gonna see all of his attacks. Probably not, by the way. This side punch is the easiest to avoid. Just cuts it and you're done. But here is where we can actually show off our new Unite Morph that we've gotten by getting a hundred wonderful ones to, to level to level four. Unite big if. If it helps, it helps if I can actually get him to be vulnerable. This is the sword unite morph. We so we so fist, we so okay, we so fist and we so um, gun and this sword. There's also a laser beam that you can do. Well, that's just easy. You just deflect it with the sword, and this is also easy. As soon as he starts moving, you just dodge to the side. Sometimes you even get 200 points. And that's basically it. Oh, you can attack his fist even up before a counter if you use like a wrong range weapon like the sword. There we go. Now that he's vulnerable, you have to punch his eyeball. If we draw a B, if I can draw a B because it seems so hard to do apparently, we can do Unite Big. And so yeah, since we had blue in our team, we can use a super big version of blue and just slash him a few times. This drains your Unite Golds, and as long as you have Unite Golds, you can keep this up. It's very cool. Some wonderful ones work better than others. For example, Chugi is incredibly nice. Immortus breaks the game. Like, look at this clip where I destroyed this boss with Immortus Unite Big.
All right, and then there's this attack. This attack takes away one of your Unai Morphs. And in order to take it back, you need to break the stupid bubble. It's one of the most interesting attacks, so it takes away one of your weapons. Think, I think that the game doesn't haven't, hasn't actually done so far. This is a claw attack. Okay, we're seeing a lot of them today, actually. Sometimes you only see a few. Okay, so this one, you have to dodge that. <laughs> There's the claw there, which is kind of hard to dodge. And if you will give me the chance to, with white, I can probably open this. Oh, with A now? What the hell? Okay. You have to use white to initiate this. This renders him vulnerable immediately. Which means I'm gonna draw another Unite, another Unite Big. Actually, can I select Shugi? Okay. Then I can draw Unite Big. Unite Shugi? Unite Shugi is cool as hell. There's a lot of damage, as you can see there. Oh yeah, Unite Shugi is cool. Alright then. So what's up next? Oh, the hammer. Very easy. Winning spins. That's your cue to um, pull out your guts. I think we saw everything except the bomb and the whip. Yeah, we're just missing bomb and whip. We probably. Whoa, how did that not block? It just went through. It didn't even hit the guts. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. We're just gonna go ham on this fist. And again, we go lucky because this is very easy to dodge. Ooh, come on, 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 destroy this, destroy it, destroy it, okay. Okay, here comes another Unite Big. And even does deals damage when he creates it, which is so cool. And I think this is gonna be it, not quite. He still has a few, just a couple of health left, just a couple of, like, centimeters of health left. There you go. And I'm just gonna go with Swords a little bit. Ah, Swords doesn't really do a lot of damage, though, I shouldn't do that. Could go with a Naginata, though. Again, Chugi is pretty powerful. And this is bomb, okay. That just deals damage on impact. I might I think it might slow you down. This is the ray ray attack. So the only thing we haven't seen is whip, and you just gotta dodge that one. Because you can't really do anything with the whip. There's no counter thing you can do like this one. Unfortunately, that's how it is. Oh, he's doing close again. Okay, so cl close is very hard. Not gonna lie, because. The attack that he does with the claws is very hard to see. Because of all these explosions. Oop, there he is. Okay. But once you're used to it, it's not that big of a deal. There you go. Come out of here. Out of there. Thank you. And I guess since I have white... Unite white up. And let's finish him off.
And in this little section, all you've got to do is get back all of your people within the time limit. Remember that your your Wonderliner actually has an hitbox, so you can just swipe around the battlefield like so. And you can easily do this one. Very, very easy. That's all of them? Oh, it's you left. Okay. Alright, so this is the part that everybody hates about this stupid operation. There all has to be a part that is not handled very well, and it's this one. Your health sucks, you need to go around and destroy those things. You just need to aim at them, really. The game will do the rest for you. But if you don't do that, then you will take a lot of damage. That's just bad. And this is probably where I'm going to die. Because I practiced this a little bit, but seriously. I can't just make it... I can't just go through this. And then there's this dude. It doesn't just damage you if it hits you. Which it almost always does, by the way. It just obstructs your view as well. So you have to dodge the lasers and this dude at the same time. Oh, that missed me. How did that miss me? No idea. Thank God the third time this guy always catches you. No matter what you do, it always gets... Wait, no? Okay. I thought the first, the third time always gets me. Okay, there we go. That was the fourth. Okay, never mind that. It doesn't matter because Warkin is here to save us. We have another Metal Gear Rising reference, I think. Now it's even worse, though. So now we'll have a little glitchy elf bar that always happens for some reason. Now we have to pilot two ships at the same time. And you know what? I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna forget about Vorkin's ship since he has a lot of elf and concentrate on my elf because that's the one that's low. Vorkin can take damage. I don't really care. 
You could potentially destroy everything with just your ship. Oh, let's see if I can make this through. It's not that long. Maybe I can make it through without dying. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, I made it. That's first time I never got through that part without dying. All right, we're moving into the first part of the final phase of the fight. Now we control the Platinum Robo. We're alone, but the boss is kind enough to give us some Gekku just to punch the shit out of and get some allies. You gotta be a little bit careful at the beginning, because you can only punch once, and there are these lasers. You can reflect it with a sword, but you cannot unite more unless you have at least 10 people. And then you can just pull out the sword and get rid of the rest of the Gagujins. Mainly the boss has three attacks. There's this, the laser attack, which is easily countered with a sword. And then there's an attack which you can block with a hammer. Apart from that, it doesn't do anything else. This is just, the, again, another warm-up for what's really up to come. And I think we have another bomb. Yeah, okay. So once you have 50 people, you can destroy one of the barriers that the boss has placed between us and him. You're gonna wait for this attack to pop up. So you need to create a 50... People unite know, worth and break the first barrier. You need 50, otherwise you won't do any damage. Then there's another barrier, but that needs 100 people. Well, that's no big deal for us, right? Because we can just get more, more Gaikujins, and boss is kind enough to give us some more. Okay, we're gonna deflect that, which also is some more of the Gaikujins. We are 100, okay. So if the boss is so kind, it will be so kind to use the, not this attack, the other one. I don't like this attack, because... Yeah, I'm gonna draw a gun and see if we can get rid of those bombs. Cool, okay. Now, if I get all my people, I usually draw a sword because it's very... No, that's a 50. I need all the people there. Everybody, thank you. Otherwise, if you don't draw big enough, it'll just shatter your Unite Morph like that, and that's just bad. So this thing, you can block it with a hammer. Okay, and this is mostly a battle in which you have to manage your battery and attack at the right time. Now, it's gonna send out more Gagujins because the next barrier needs a 200 people unite morph. Yeah, 200. So I'm just gonna draw a bunch of swords. Those will do it. Get my own sword out, deflect a bunch of lasers. Are we at 200 yet? I think we are, just needs a little time to... No, we are 150. And he's gonna send 50, 50 more out in a, in a second. Meanwhile, I think I'm just gonna block the next attack with a hammer. 
There we go. Unfortunately, we don't get United Gods back. That's okay. If I wait a little bit, I'll be able to camp and get it all back. And you know what that means? Pull out a sword immediately, like that. Don't need to have to throw it. All the way. It wastes no battery, thanks to Unite Camp. Is it done? Are we at 200, or there are still Gagoons going around? Oh, there's still three more. There they are. One, two, three. Here they go. And if these bombs will explode... My party members are having some trouble. Okay, I think now... And just throw up this. All my people. There we go. Rising Cyclone. Rising Cyclone should do it. No, we dropped out of it before we could finish it. Let's see if I can actually do that again. Guys, throw... throw oh, never mind. Next opportunity, I guess. So that's the thing. We need exactly 200 people. We need everybody to participate in the last Unite Morph. I guess I can just Unite... Oh, no, I cannot. That's, I'm waiting for those bombs to explode, by the way. Come on. Come on, go off. You take forever. Okay, fine. There we go. Whoa, I was... I had the sword out. What's that all about? Oh, God. Come on, it's the last attack, dudes. Let's do it. One more at one swing. There we go. Okay. Now you can use whatever Unite Morph you want. I guess I'm going to give the whip some screen time because it deserves it. Although, again, the sword is your best option just because of this laser attack. But yeah, use whatever Unite Morph you want. You just want to attack the boss. It's not the final form yet. This is just, again, part of the warm-up sequence. Now uh, we're going to get the attack for the hammer. That's okay. We took out this part. Okay, this is our final phase. And again, the Zord is your best option here. So, what do you have to do here? You have to eat four weak points that he has. He's got two on arms and two on his legs. Unfortunately, this laser beam attack is kind of hard to avoid. These meteors are so easy. Just pull out a guts and you'll be probably be fine. What is he doing now? What's this? I don't know what this is. I've never seen that. Oh well, never mind. So it doesn't matter which ones you hit first. You can gut some of his attacks that he does with with the fist and the legs, but that's okay. All we're doing here is just hitting weak points over and over. It's not a big of a deal. It's kind of hard to circle around him though, because you can't really get closer. So that's why the sword is very good. Sometimes he does this. This is very easy. Guts it. You actually will throw them back at him. So that actually does, does some damage other than just blocking your shot. Uh, okay, you do this. I don't care. Got that. And go in with my sword. Oh, that weak point is gone. Never mind, we have, we have to move to another one. And that's basically how the final phase of the fight works. It's kind of all like this. Ooh, gods, thank you. Gods. And just hold down the Guts button while you're pairing those Meteors, because usually that keeps it up for pretty long. Here we go. Give her another sword. Okay, the hands are gone. Now we go for the legs. It might be a little bit harder, because you are kind of far away compared to the arms. So, there's that. You can also get this. Very nice, too. And I got some more of those Meteors. Okay, so far I've been doing very nicely. Ooh, that wasn't even close. 
not entirely sure how you can move around in this phase. Because again, it's very weird. Just remember to always have one battery of backup, just in case you need to cut something at the last second. You can dodge, but dodging really doesn't do a lot. The only time where dodging is useful is when he does that laser attack. It's not like a laser attack, those red lines. You saw them a little bit at the beginning of the fight. That's the real danger. That you can't really gut those, so you need to avoid them somehow. Okay, that weak point. That weak point, by the way, is still alive. And because you'll be mostly drawing 200 people you know more if you just want to hold the L for the whole time. And draw as fast as you can. Final weak point is on his head. Now, this one is a little bit hard to get. But the way I do it is I would team you Nightmorphs. Because he's constantly shooting around these stupid balls. And whenever he stops for a break, you can draw. Oh, team you Nightmorph. I couldn't move. His fist was in the way. Come on. I'm trying to move. Thank you. Thank you. They want to take damage. I got stuck on his fist, which is very weird. So just Team Unite more, because at least you can still move. Okay, you can go that way, apparently. Cool. I'm just gonna go this way, then, and dodge through here. Okay, you dodge, dodge like this, dodge like this, okay. Okay, he's stopped now. Cool. Throw a sword. Got the fist. Throw another sword. Axe. That should do it. Come on. We don't stand a chance of stopping this scrap heap. Sakoi blue, my boy. See ya. She is Finny. Those two Adamus are the day all wrong. Mama! Such a beautiful world, this CHIQ. I had hoped to avoid its destruction. But at this rate, our ultimate weapon can only have one result. Shutting down interferometer. All electronics will be affected. This energy is unbelievable. They'll knock the planet into the next star system with this power. What? The dark horse survived?
task and end our nightmare forever. I won't let you destroy our future! One thing is certain, Jerkinga. Our quest for justice will last far longer than today. Seeing that you are a monster! If there's something video games can do, it's putting us in the shoes of the protagonist, make us feel their struggles and emotions. And a good example of this concept is what is about to happen here. Is it really over? We have done it! Save Vinny! Mama! What are you so scared of? Self-destruct? <laughs> well, looks like they went haywire without anyone to call the shots. Jerginga must have been controlling everything. How swiftly they flutter and die. Like cherry blossoms on the wind. Case closed. And Red, dude, what was up with that name? I think I heard final in there like twice. You did? What are you left? Hmm? What is that? A little wager? Ah, the one about pink. <laughs> Do not be ridiculous. I took out the most jerks. We all know this. That makes me the winner. What are you two talking about? Maybe I 
I can become the kind of person my mother was. Someone who works for something greater than themselves. I have to make up for what I did. That's my promise to Earth. Aww. You keep that promise. Grow into the man we all know you can become. And pass that spirit on to the next generation. We need people like you to ensure Earth follows the right path into the future. But it won't always be easy. You think you can handle it, Mika? You bet, Mr. Wedgwood! Oh, uh, about that. Maybe it's best our secret identities stay secret at school. Okay? Just watch, Platinum Robo. I'm gonna keep my promise. Platinum Robo. I'm thinking Platinum Machine. Thank you, Platinum Robo. From all of us in the wonderful 100, we salute you. Team. Run! And now. We really must be going home. We have much work to do to ensure the future of the galaxy. I'll find a way to make up for what I've done. If I can bring even the slightest ray of hope to the worlds I devastated, I'll shine my light upon them. I know you will. What? 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 Please, already? Stay! Relax! You can't leave me, Morgan! I never had the chance to tell you how grateful I am. Thank you. I mean it. Yes. Well, yeah, no need for thanks. After all the times you saved us, you know, we should be thanking you. What is this? Is it me? Oh, does well look a little rouge? Check it out. Even his ears are red. What? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Look, red gets more red. <laughs> this is more funny. <laughs> It is no surprise that a kind word from a lovely lady such as Imotadono should have such an effect. Okay, let's not get carried away. Porkin, say something. It is your own fault getting all sentimental right at the end like that. What did you expect? <laughs> Wonderful one double O. And Luca, it's truly an honor to meet warriors such as yourselves. The honor is ours. When I think of all I've done to Dirth, it seems wrong to just leave. And yet, I have left no shortage of trouble in my wake. I have amends to make across the galaxy. We know. We'll do what we can here. I thank you. And I shall tell the galaxy what I have seen here on Dearth. The purity of your passion. Be well, Wonder Red. Until we meet again, Prince Morgan. And keep my sister in your thoughts. And what? I think it's time we were leaving now, brother. Wonderful 100, I'm afraid our work has just begun. 
We've got to get this planet back on her feet. And there's no guarantee some of those jerks aren't still out there, waiting for us. First stop is Blossom City, to help with search and rescue. And after that, wherever Sentinel's HQ in Paris says we're needed. Allison, dude, we need some downtime. It is true. A world to rebuild. And we are only 100. Not to worry. We picked up one more ally along the way. Charter course for Blossom City. Alice, full speed ahead. Roger. Operation 009 complete. Course plotted for Blossom City. Flight path clear. Onward, Virgin Victory. Yeah, we definitely need people like Luca to safeguard the future of humanity. People like Luca almost destroyed humanity. They are definitely the perfect choice to safeguard the future of humanity. Anyway, Platinum Trophy! I'm so proud of this. I never got Platinum on this operation. I love it. Yeah, definitely want to break that. <laughs> anyway. And I will see you in what happens next. So we're back in control of, of Luca, and we have to rescue the little children. Does this remind you of anything? Yeah, it's exactly like the beginning, except we have a Gaptrick file there, which I think is that one of the final boss. But yeah, that's a little redux of the beginning. And of course we have to get to the front of the bus. Yeah, always forget that. Explodes. Alright then. And as we move forward, everything that we've seen in the prologue will happen. So that all will get blown out of the roof. We get an Gaftar file, so I'm not sure about what that is. We can't fight those because we only just look at so we move on. the psychic switches on their one dependence, the special combat agents of the wonderful one double O don their sentinel suits in a mere three billionths of a second. These powered exoskeletons' ultra-dense biometallic fibers grant super strength, 
transforming mere mortals into invincible defenders of justice. Sure, Luca. Tell them nobody destroys your planet except you. <sighs> so I wonder, goggles. <laughs> Luca has these stupid laser beams that can shoot out of his goggles. They are useless exactly as he is. And in fact, he couldn't even get a pure planet. Luca, you're useless. Anyway, uh, this will play out pretty much exactly as the prologue again. We have to wait for Blue to pop in. There he is. Come on, Blue, pop up. There you are. However, I love the way Red does wonder goggles at the end. And we can now <laughs> throw an 8 on infinity for Unite Goggles. <laughs> it's, it does this. It's completely, utterly useless. I have no idea how you can use this efficiently. So I'm just going to resort to my main tactics of juggling with the sword and doing a lot of damage. And maybe maybe I'll just use the gun a little bit. No, wait. I'm just going to use the freaking claws. The raise my base multiplier. Block that hit. Maybe not. Okay, don't block that hit. Destroy this thing. Can we just kill this guy? Use the fist. There's immune fire. And there's a lot of fire there. Good, he's dead. I mean, we're stuff to take care of. That's no big deal. Can we use cyclone? There we go. Man, it's so hard to make a cyclone. We have no battery. Come on. Finish him. See? I was able to get a platinum. And the reason why I couldn't get enough combo was because probably I've used the Unite Goggles. Anyways, let's go down here. So as you may have noticed, I have reloaded my my usual save file. The one we've been using for the LP. Because I wanted to show up the collectible of this part of the game. As there are still two wonderful ones we haven't gotten yet. As we are 99, we should be 101 at the end. Break this door, move a little bit forward. Not too much though. If you go back, right there on the ground in front of Red, is the Miracle Kid Wonder Babe. He has zero age. He is zero years old. He's just a newborn. And yeah, he's a full-fledged hero like Luca, which is just a hero in training. So there's that. <laughs> and let's see, what we got here? Just a missile. No big deal. Just a stupid missile. Anyway, go up here. Up here, there's something you can draw if you want to. Let's see if I'm able to draw this shape. Ah, somehow it worked. Also, it activates the fans, which we can use Unite Ball to go up a little bit. That is a wonderful figurine. I don't know if I'm able to get it. Yeah, I did. Cool. And no more batteries there. Okay. And now a bunch of more people there. And with that, we can want to play Wonder Toy. 
Hey, he's from Italy. Didn't know about that. And now we have another last operation here. Oh, well, I thought I thought we had the Sudogo. Uh, I mean, no, it's the ones with the spikes. This one, but this with the spike. Okay. Block this. Nice. We're gonna juggle one of you, the one with more HP. And take care of that one in the meantime. Nice, they went both down at the same time. Oh, there was a Gedi Dogu. I remember it right then. Okay, can't block this shit. So I'll just have to wait for your next one. Okay, you do this. You do this. If you just go back, there we go. And then... Take out some of your armor, not unfortunately all of it. Because my battery's kind of low at this point. Can't really throw as big as I'd like to. But now we actually have all 100 wonderful ones. 101 wonderful ones. No, he's still doing this. Come on. Come on, Mr. RNG. Is that still not all of it? I'm ranking up with whip users, though. There's that. Come on. There you go. For fucking ever. What's he doing? Oh shit, can can parry that. So potentially if since you can unlock like Chugi or Vorkan if you do certain achievements, you can actually parry that, because it's a drill attack. If you have Chugi, you can parry but with an Aginata. Just pointing that out. Now, if you remember in the prologue I showed this some episodes ago, you could go down here if you had a hammer. In the epilogue you can do that too. Apart from the bunch of people, we have the last Kakiriga in the game. Oh boy! This one! This one is, th is tough. Let's see if I can do it on the first attempt. Probably not. It's gonna take a few attempts and a few deaths. And I'm gonna cut them out. But hey, maybe. Maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe I'll be lucky as hell. Because... See, this Kakiriga is bad. <laughs> You're gonna see it soon. Uh, but yeah, when go so the goggles are just stupid. I can't even do them here? What the fuck? I can't even do goggles. It doesn't matter because the goggles are sucks anyway. <laughs> it's a laser beam. Nobody uses the laser beam because it's so hard to control anyway. Anyway. I said anyway twice. Whatever. So, defeat the enemy without being damaged. Y yeah. Not the easiest thing in the world counting as... You cannot get hit here. So you need to read all the details correctly. And this is not body was at. Great. I just wasted an opportunity. React a little late of any of this and that's it. You have to redo it. And it counts as a death toward your score. I want it's body, it's gotta be body. Jump has gotta be body. Oh it's not? You can't you gotta be kidding me. This is definitely a star. Maybe I'll be able to do it. I don't know. Charge, 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 charge. I need to dodge two more attacks. If I can dodge two more attacks, I'm done. Because I can do a laser and then a KO punch and finish him off. By the way, do never never do the KO punch and then the laser. Because you can... You can happen to encounter a bug if you do the laser for last. Always do the laser first. Like, it's not a bug that will break your game. It's a bug that will you will have to dodge one more attack afterward. You'll basically be down with no elf Because the game wants you to finish him off with a punch, so you cannot finish him off with the laser So you'll stay down with no elf and then the next punch He takes no damage What is this? What the fuck is this? What the actual fuck is it? I never seen this thing before. What the hell? The actual fuck? Okay, never mind be it simple. Be it simple. Oh, come on. One, two. Okay. What? One, two, three. No, he delayed it. Oh my god. I can't believe it. He delayed that final hit. Shit. Oh, you're going to see the successful attempt, I guess. All right, here we go again. 
third time. That's sad. Okay, that's a star. Try body this time. No! Then what is it? That's body, definitely. I blink his body, I bro his head. That much I know. And this is body again. Okay, got my star. Let's see this KO punch in all of its glory. Look at the damage it's doing. Yeah. Okay. There's up the laser. Now I need to dodge two more attacks and I'll be done. Okay, so what are you up to next? Alright, just sway. Sway all the time. Sway all the time. You're gonna hear my control stick just being tapped repeatedly, but that's okay. This be an easy one. Ooh, laser. And probably you're gonna see the glitch I was talking about before. Let's see if he dies, you're gonna see it. No, he's not dead. So again, if you knock it out with zero HP with this, P-Star will come down tonight, you'll come back up, you need to punch him once, the punch does not hit, and then you win. Because the game expects you to win with a clean punch. Crap, it wasn't the right one. Oh, oh, oh god, I should have punched the head, and I didn't do it. Oh no, not again, this. Left, left, right, kick! Left, left, right, kick! Ooh! Yeah! That should be it. That's it. KO! He's down. I took a few attempts. Once you know... All the corresponding tales. Like, I think I have something on my notes for that, but... And my notes are gone. <laughs> I already put them away. This is the final episode, after all. Didn't have any notes except... Oh, there's the Skaki Riga. I remember to get it. <laughs> That's all I had in my notes, really. So, we can just exit the Skaki Riga after grabbing our wonderful figurine. Yeah, that can be really hard if you don't know the tales and what corresponds to head and what corresponds to body. All in all, that's the final Skaki Riga in the game. And if the game loads up, I would like to finish off the epilogue, because it's kind of long, unfortunately. We still have a lot of things to do, believe it or not. If it's not as short as the prologue is, there's a lot more. Because we're going to have all the credits and stuff. Here we are. So, uh, Luca, I don't like you. Thank you. <laughs> Go back with Blue in the lead. And we can grab all those batteries. I don't think there's an additional mission here. We're just going to... Get to the head of the boss and see what happens there. Oh, we do have another chain or bridge. I guess we'll save these people. Why not? Even the 
check for later. Duh, we have hands full. <laughs> they will remember today as the day they were driven from our world. Listen up, team. We've isolated a gap jerk base in sector PG-4797. As soon as operations here are complete, we move in for a surprise attack. Let's wrap this up. Roger. We'll have the last of them mopped up in no time. And here we are. We're in the credits. Which... As a good platinum game... Should be... Hopefully. If it decides to do it. There we go. The credits are playable. There's actually extra missions in there. Which is pretty fun. You thought, it, they do that in Bayonetta as well. At least in both Bayonets they do that, which is pretty cool. <laughs> you get to play through the credits a little bit. But yeah, um, what can we say about Wonderful 101? Definitely a wonderful game. If you have a Wii U, you definitely want to play it. It's one probably one of the best games in the system. And if you like hack and slash games like these, platinum style, over the top, stories and action, it's definitely something you want to pick up. And because it's on the Wii U, it's probably gonna cost nothing. I don't even know how much how much this cost to me. Probably like uh, 10 to 20 euros or something. Used though, I bought it from GameStop. But yeah, didn't cost a lot, and for hours and hours of fun, that's definitely worth it. Definitely want to buy this game if you're a fan of this kind of gameplay, or just in general, it's a pretty cool game. It can be hard though, I warn you. If you're not used to the combat system, and nobody is at the beginning of the game, you're just going to suck, like, a lot. Like, me having played Bayonetta before this game, I died so many times at the level at uh, the first Operation, Operation 1A. Like, three times. Three times, for crying out loud. But then, as I got better, then it became so much fun. Even more than Bayo. But it's kind of like the opposite, you can understand the system, and it has a constant difficulty. Well, this one starts very hard, but once you understand the system, it's easy and fun to play through. Really, just trust my word on this. And yep, that's about it. That's about all I wanted to say on the game, really. There isn't really a lot to say, but... Everything, everything else I've said, I have said through the game, but yeah. Definitely a title that should deserve more attention, in my opinion. Hey. hey. That's, uh, that's how things stand for now. Whoop! <laughs> and as for the next Let's Play, I already know what I have to bring. And it's gonna be an interesting one. Because it's a game that, while not hard to record per se, it has some points where, well, I'm not really, I don't, still don't really know how I'm gonna pull them off. Because it's kind of hard. Uh, when I will do it, you probably understand what I th what I mean. In the meantime, we get to punch, the punch blue in the face a little bit more. I think that was perfect, right? 
I didn't took any damage there. But oh well. The next LP will be just a fill up filler LP for the next big one, which is gonna come out in January. In two months, more or less. And that one is gonna be one heck of a project. And I've been working so hard for that one. I hope it's gonna be a really cool. I hope it's gonna come out like a really cool LP, but. I was really proud of the, of the work I did on this one, even though it didn't do that much, really. Apart from the notes and the editing on this episode, it really didn't really do that much. But yeah, that's what I usually do. That's what I usually do. I don't usually edit a lot of my LPs anyway, <laughs> just because I don't have. I just base, ba barely have enough physical time to make these LPs. So think about that. I just have barely enough time to record. If I tried to, ooh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. If I even had to edit them, either has to be some special occasion, or it's just not gonna happen. Just because I don't have enough time. I have a real time, real life job. I have my family to take care of. I have a house and everything. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Uh, Unite Morph. Whoosh. Set Unite Morph. Oh, I forgot. The, I forgot everything. I forgot all the commands for this. I forgot all the commands for this stupid boss. Did I get hit? Doesn't look like I got hit there. Oh well. So yeah. But but this like this next LP I will release in January will be heavily headed because I seriously well not like all the episodes will be but s some of them will be. There will be some. Interesting editing I want to just pop in there. And after that one, I actually want to do one with the heavy editing, but it's going to be a short one just to fill up time while we wait for the next big project. Oh, a lot of people on this one. Wow, I destroyed this dude. Whoa. So yeah, definitely want to look forward to both the next little LP and the next big one because they're both gonna be interesting especially that big one that I'm saying it will be released on January and I think we almost run out of playable credits I don't think there's many more mission 16 oh there was another crab yay crab people crab people taste like crab talk like people take damage like people as well damn Good guy, you can't be that. Doesn't count. And now, let's finish up this crab. Or maybe not, because I see the rankings down there, so probably I won't even have time to forge. Guys, go in. Finish up this crab enemy. Yeah. Is that an you plat? Tell me combo was enough. I was, it was. So yeah, I think that was the last playable little cutscene. Oh no, of course not. So these enemies we saw before, they are very weak, as you can see, but they can still eat you. And I couldn't, you can't be that. <laughs> it doesn't matter, just, can I just throw a fifth? Whoa, I cannot even throw a fifth. They're all people down here. Okay, cool. He died from the dodge mine. Also, again, I will thank Let's Play Scribe for showing me this game in his past LP. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even play this myself. So there's that. Is the game stuck here? I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Oh my god, did that just glitch the game? Tell me I didn't, because otherwise I'll have to edit this out. Okay, never mind, we're good. That took an awful long time. I thought I glitched it somehow. Oh, that was just... no. Oh, that sucked. No, that was plat. That was plat. I thought it was a silver for some reason. I was like, hey, how can that be a silver if I go two plat and a gold? But yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say here. Uh, apart from... Yeah, Nelson said of a... Secret Gefter base? Now, that's Operation 101. 
But in order to unlock that, you need to complete all Kaki Rigas in normal, hard, and... Uh, it's 101, the very hard difficulty mode. So if you complete all the Kaki Rigas, you get Operation 101, which is basically a enemy gauntlet. Enemy gauntlet. You just get various, various waves of enemies, just, and you have to go through them. It's kind of like the... I don't remember what's the name, but in Bayonetta, there's something like that. Where you just fight waves and waves of enemies in the Alphimes arenas. And just get progressively harder and harder. So yeah, you can have this in this game. It's kind of a little bit harder to unlock, though. You can unlock some other wonderful ones, like you can unlock Chugi, Luka, I mean Goggles. So Chugi, Goggles and Vorkin Immorta to use in normal operations. In order to do that, you need to fulfill certain requirements. Then you can see that in the achievement page, there's a list of achievements you haven't done. If you can complete them, completing a series of them will unlock certain wonderful ones. There are other wonderful ones that I think there's like, um, there's a wonderful one that is exactly like Beautiful Joe, which has a fist. There, there's also, there is Bayonetta and there is, um, Who's Bayonetta's friend? The other witch. Uh, Jean. There's Bayonetta and Jean that both use a different variation of a gun. There's Wonder Rodan as well that uses a hammer. And then there's a few others. I think there's like Wonder Future, Wonder Daddy. One uses the claws with fire and the other uses the bomb. A little variation of the bomb. So there's a lot of little wonderful ones that you can unlock as a bonus if you keep playing the game and do the achievements. Which I haven't done because some of those are very hard to complete. Like, I think to unlock Bayonetta, you need to complete the game with an average of Platinum on every, on every operation, so that's gonna be pretty hard. So, yeah, that was the wonderful 101. Also, by the way, you can actually look around with the gamepad and the zoom in version and zoom in on this awesome image. Just want to point that out. You can. I don't think you can actually show it to you, but yeah, that's what you can do. Something you can do. And with that, I'll leave you. And we'll see each other on the next LP when we take a shot on the next on on the next game. See you guys in a couple days.